What's going on, everybody? Doc Average Camera Guys, back again. Hardcore. Let's get to it. So, we're headed to the woods. <laughs> uh, we're going to try to pick up a few things here. We've got uh, some, some tests to do, if you will. We've got some things that we can focus on. So, first and foremost here, we got all of our dailies <laughs> from therapists, which was really interesting. And I'm actually going to turn this in. We have a car kit, and we have an augmenting. This is just a little bit of rep. Uh, the bandage is helpful, a little bit of money and some experience. So we'll get started with that since we had those items. Um, we need to kill scabs with assault rifles. Good chance that that doesn't happen. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what we stumble on. The real big thing here that we're trying to do is director's office key. So uh, I'm still looking for a handful of crackers to be able to turn in and grab that. We have 206 and we got 303 this last go around which was really, really good. The other thing that we're gonna take a look at and try to do is Tarkov Shooter Part 1. So we've got our uh, Bolty. We're gonna try to kill some scavs from five meters away, or from 40 meters away, five scavs, with just iron sights. We can also try to get Wounded Beast, depending on how kind of the raid goes, and we'll see how dehydrated we get as part of this. Um, we might actually kind of be able to fit that in as we jump in here. So I've got the, uh, the Bolty and MBSS and uh, some EKO rounds. We're gonna go at night. I wanna see how this goes. See you in the red. All right, here we go. Woods, then our favorite map. Let's see what we can turn it into on this one. A chance to actually get some decent stuff here. And I am going to head towards, excuse me, towards the village. I have the hiccups and the burps. Just had my morning coffee. See if we can find anything spicy over here. I guess I'll take the shampoo to start. I mean, it's really not that good, being honest. That is a much better grab. Man, nothing here? Wow. Stinks a little bit. Can I get out of here, please? Pop into this house Just very quickly. So Okay, meds. Chevas. CPU fan. Like some shots up near sawmill. A decent, decent perspective for this side of this map, with the exception of hidden stashes.
friendly neighborhood sniper scab is getting after it. There's a hidden stash up here. Really, I'm looking for the crackers. If we can snag those couple of crackers that we need, get that director's office key, we can be heading over to Ustams. And start getting some of our tasks done. Need a 114 key as well. I thought about kind of working interchange a bit <clears throat> for filing cabinets for some of the early customs keys. It's um, it's actually good. I feel like that they've put that stuff back in. So I do want to try to get our scavs. I've got EKO rounds, which are going to be really good taking the scavs down if we can get any opportunities to fight them get some clean shots off I'm gonna probably push up here to my kind of sniper position that'll guarantee that we get the long range that we need also give us a chance to just kind of scope this out a little bit I do need to be careful because again that guy Guy or gal? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, right there. I don't know if I killed him or not. EKO rounds are pretty solid flush damage. So, if I thoraxed him unarmored, there's a chance. Especially if he had been hurt already. Let's find out. It's going to be the... I did. Let's go. He might have been trying to do his his task as well. I don't know. One down. Saw one more. That was a nice little, nice little pop on that guy. Fortunately, he didn't have a whole lot else for us, but. Take what we can take. I really don't mind this gun. <clears throat> um, 
the AP rounds are very, very solid if you can get your hands on them. Um, but looking at them the other day, there's the scav right here. Um, looking at them the other day, they just don't have, uh, the AP rounds have such a drop off from accuracy, which I feel like is what make it tough sometimes. I don't know why, I feel like I just heard something. I have an have an ear sucks so bad I'm gonna skip maybe I don't Come on, come on, come on, come on. I thought I killed this guy. Ooh. I did. I really thought I killed that guy. Another wallet. Holy shit. Right. Let's get in here. Reload off that. Any money in here? No. company He's generally around here. I just don't know if he's at the back of the building or if he's inside. I couldn't really tell. I heard some glass break, I feel like, but... Not in a great position, although we do have some armor. It's not good. It's not, it's not really very good armor, but it sounds like this guy was using something small. Small caliber MP5, MPX, something like that, Vector. He is.
trap this guy in. I don't know if I hit him at all. That'll do. Sorry, bud. I need the shampoo. These are both class two. I don't think I need the soap. Probably do something along this line. Do that. So here's the thing. Let's get dehydrated. The amazing part about this is oh it's a good shotgun boys mm. man this is really tough Take this so we have the heels. I, I'm thinking this. I can't do that. The barrel on it is too long. Dang it, man. Here's what I'm going to do I'm going to unload these. See, I don't want to do that because I want to keep the. This is, uh, the thing I'm struggling with right now is I feel like I need the pistol grip. Let's see what this other scav has. Dog is hawking up a lung over here. He's hawking up a lung. I 
don't need that anymore. We're dehydrated. Okay. Gets us just the most minuscule amount of space possible. Take that at least. We're going to use these up. I want some of these mags, but man, I want this. I want that, I want that. Let's do this. It's, it's not great ammo, but better than not having the ammo. And we get quite a bit of it too, which is really nice. I'm gonna do that. Thing is, I want these mags too. It's been a good raid. We're gonna get some stuff done for sure. And that's going to be more important than the Mosey. We also got a 25 meter kill on that guy. Which is really nice. Keep our head up. I'm trying to keep some of the pistol mags because I want... I want to make sure that when we go to do our pistol kills, we have an opportunity to actually use the pistol and not just have a single mag. We have a couple of PM pistols on us too, so we can use those. I shouldn't have healed the arm. Gotta just essentially focus on the head and the thorax because I don't have a lot of health heals. Dog is being extra just silly today. I'm gonna drop this. Do I want the BP? I'm gonna drop these for this morphine too. Put it on six. That is done. Let's hit the T first. It's out of the dehydration zone. I'm just going to use all of this. Okay, we should come back. That. We should be full. Well, let's top up our head and our thorax here. It's going to be a little bit of a longer raid, I think, but this has been very good, and we're going to grab one or two of those mags. I think, oh, do I need hunter matches? Probably need blue tape, too. Need to try to grab a few more scabs if I can. I think we only got the one from 40 meters. That other one scared the living shit out of us. Okay. Let's grab at least the one. extra unnecessarily heavy but all right losing daylight here let's go ahead and maybe think about getting out got quite a few of the things that we need 
Couple of good kills. The hell, might as well stay topped up. And head towards the med fob here. Should be some good opportunity to pick up. We can pick up a few scavs. All in all, this is a pretty dang successful raid, all things considered. We got our dehydration task done. We got a 25 meter, closer than 25 meter sniper kill. Actually, I don't know why I'm worried about closer than 25 meter sniper kills. I think I'm mixing up my accounts here. We got two PMC kills, so that's cool. Got some decent gear. I'm able to kind of step this up, which is really nice. So it's just generally a better helmet. RK1 is very good. Dang it. It's fine. Without it. Probably not, not much time to go here. There's usually decent food in this little hut. Again, if you're wondering why I'm grabbing these, um, uh, get prepped for ice cream cones and our 60 rounders. We need to make sure we have a good stockpile of those. Quickly check food spawns here. See if there's any good attachments we can get. There's a nice USP. I'm doing this. I'm taking it over that. Might not be the right move, but I'm doing it. We're definitely on diminishing returns for this, for food. Suppressor, gosh. This we can throw on here. Great there. Do I need? Cricket lighters. I'm gonna take it. I don't know if I do or not. Hmm. Somebody came through here. a little interesting. It's actually quite interesting to be in the lookout a little bit, probably. We're definitely losing daylight here, too. We need to move quick. So I might split the difference here. Let's see. We don't necessarily need to get the scavs here. We can do another one of these runs. Now that we've been able to gear up a little bit. So survive is pretty much the key. I really don't know if I need that shotgun or not. The pistol grip is a big help. And I feel like I heard something. If we had daylight here, I'm like, we weren't transitioning into the dusk. Probably see some scavs past the plane here. Should be good. Oh, we might 
might be able to catch one or two. Sometimes you get one hanging out up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I just don't know where he stopped. Keep running? I don't. I don't know. This probably is not a good time to try to do this. Also, really don't want to lose this. I think this is the only bolt action sniper we have at the moment. Oh. Could do, we could push out over here. Making this way harder on ourselves than it needs to be, probably. notice this happening more often where what just happened right there where that guy basically walked directly up on us okay we got a couple I'm not how is this guy Fuck out of me. Don't really want anything to do with you, bud. To be honest with you. We are also getting low on time. This wasn't doesn't look hit. Any keys, any keys, any keys. safe key. Okay. Not good.
Should have plenty of time. And we're not so heavy. Got a nice little come up on this raid, which is good. We needed a good... Oh, we still gotta survive, but we needed a good one. We pick up some things. You do not have to do these Tarkov shooters on woods either. Um, I just personally think this is one of the better maps to do it, as well as it has a lot of the things I think we're looking for. Although, it's crazy to me I haven't found any more crackers. You would think of all the food items. That's like the one you don't want to find. Except when you want to find it, which is right now. Which the game knows that. It is making me feel the pain for. I think more so than this, I need this. An MPX. want this gun so bad. I want this gun so bad. I think I have the... I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I have that already. I'm hoping I'm not making a really bad mistake. Well, it's good for storage space. I know I need those too. I'm, ho I'm really hoping I'm not making a bad mistake. I just don't remember. I don't remember what's in my stash. See any silhouettes of scabs? No silhouette, but a flashlight. He's inside the hut. <clears throat> what? I wonder if I killed him right there. We'll find out. raid good raid honestly we need a good survive there okay nice little uh no we did not dang all right so we did get one scav here that one of course did not count and then we pick up another scav here so we got two of the scavs we needed got the thorax on this guy and then we get the old Heat shout on this guy. Those were some good shots, honestly. Happy with that. We got some good experience. Got some distance. Be close to 15 here. I'm actually going to pay for that. I think we have a uh, grizzly, but it is what it is. All right, and here ends up being the loot haul. Very solid, actually. Very happy with a lot of the stuff that we picked up here. We grab uh, a nice couple of guns, actually. Grab the MPX. See if that was a bad decision. It may have been a bad decision. I need to look to see if we have that pistol grip. Um, regardless, I think that's the play there. Uh, again, we get uh, we get some extra storage space. We get some pistols. We get a few additional things. We get some decent meds, honestly, uh, that we're going to be needing. So all in all, I would say this was a nice, a nice level up. So I'm going to get everything organized, get it put away, get some stuff sold. Um, and then we're going to head right back there because I really do want to try to finish the quest. So the nice part is we did get survivalist path done. And we got, again, two of the five for Tarkov Shooter, which is really good. And then I don't think uh, none of that stuff is going here. So let's go ahead and just get this turned in. This actually gives us some pretty solid things. The two Aquamaris are really good. 
Um, so happy to be able to get that knocked out. And again, we'll uh, we'll top up on some ammo, sell some things. See you in the next raid. All right, jumping into one more here. Very successful last raid. Very, very happy. We had a space issue. All right, now we have two options here. Med fob. Or the little village. We're going to go med fob. And I, I do want to try to get... I do really want to try to get our, uh, our scavies done. We may be able to post up here for the scavs. I kept the armor. I, I dropped the ears down. I want to get a good collection of ears going. We need to probably start running some actual gear. <laughs> um, we had we had one actually really successful geared run. This looks like a player to me right here. That player that was running across the, that whatever that was running across the field also looked like a player to me. This is a player. Had a feeling. Had a feeling. Yeah. Well, there's a scav. Of course, what does that do? Completely gives us away. But we got a scav. We're going to hold here. One for potentially more scavs. We can get some more scavs to flow from that left side over here. Um, that's where they will spawn, considering that people are essentially around and in this little med fob. The other thing I'm going to wait to do is see if this guy loots this crate right here. And then I'm going to try to shoot him in the head. He didn't look super geared, but... Let's see, we got another scav flowing in. I get a shot on this scam. This guy's over here. I think unless the scav went down and in. Scab did go down and in. Well, there's two. Question is, where's our player? Now, he could just loot the front and run out. He could just be cowering in a corner. Not to say that he's cowering in a corner, but could be. Just need to watch for any movement. We're just going to hold here because, again, I can get one more scav. That should finish up Tarkov Shooter Part 1 for us. I don't really want this guy to loot this whole thing without getting a chance to get in here, but also don't really want to go EKO, VPO, bolty against 
whatever he had. Which I guess we could take a look at the scavs and see. They have a different weapon. I haven't seen a move. I saw something that went over that way, but... I don't know if it was him or not. The other thing that's stopping me is if, if I would have kept the ears on, I'd be a little bit more confident. I just don't want to run up and him have the audio advantage, which he does this current moment, if he has ears on as well. He looked geared enough for that to be the case, so... I just really don't want to lose this bolty without getting the scavs done first. What is interesting, though, is the scab did walk in and tracked out. So he either didn't see him because he was still over there, or he is gone, which is a possibility. Or he was back over here already. He might be gone. Doesn't matter. We got the scabs done, so... Let's go ahead. We're going to go. Screw it. Pushing in. Let's see if we can get a close range weapon from one of these guys. I'd say this will do. I did have the pistol grip, by the way. So in case you were wondering, did not screw myself by taking that MPX. But I might have, but I didn't. This camp is loaded. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Hmm. Ditching this, taking the armor, spare backpack, and the 20 rounder. Getting shot at by somebody else. I'm bailing from this. Somebody else was pushing in, not sticking around. Turn the tables here. Can I get up behind this guy?
That guy ran out looking for me. This guy that, that pushed in, that kind of came to the third party, he is very geared, I think. This is where I really wish I had an optic now on this. Because I would try to position to get a nice long range shot. So we can get a cheeky kill. Yeah, damn it, man. I, there was two. That sucks. I'm trying to position just to uh, see. But I, I had a feeling. I should have just left. I had a feeling because that guy... I, I started to get shot at from long range and then that grenade came in on that guy and I was like that seems a little too it seems like they were a little too close together for that guy to make a long range shot and then also push up to get a decently close grenade so um I don't think we got anything from that raid unfortunately M62 this guy probably just got a shooter born on us yeah, we didn't really get anything from that, unfortunately. Um, that's okay. I didn't. I didn't throw anything into our container. I'm gonna heal off with this. It gets us close at least. Probably just use the rest of this up. Uh, we do get a knife. I do want to look to see. We did get some other tasks now that we are level fifteen, which is nice. Ooh, survive shoreline ten times gives me what? Oh. Three Slim Dyers would actually be okay. I don't know that we need to go to Shoreline here. Um, we did get Tarkov Shooter done. Part one, which is nice. We get some uh, mounts here, some scoops. And then uh, now we can do leg and headshots, which is unfortunate because this last raid we got a bunch of really nice scav headshots uh but that is kind of the way the pathing of this one goes so um unfortunately we don't have any more bolt actions so what we can look to do here from a task perspective is i could actually continue to kind of push woods try to get up kill sniper scav grab his sniper rifle because this isn't with this isn't with iron sight so you can use any uh scoped uh bolt action um and we can look to get that done. Uh, stirrup. Man, I wish I would have realized when we killed that second PMC in that first raid um, that we had the pistol on us and we probably could have swapped to our pistol and got a pistol kill. But it is what it is. Um, we're still really looking to try to get some keys. But we did, again, get some decent, uh, get some decent progress there. Just trying to think what else we want to do. Um, I'll probably wrap this one up here. We do need to grab, again, we got some decent rewards from this perspective. We do need to grab these and see if we can find a way to fit them all. The, um, the Aquamaris are going to be really beneficial. The rest of this stuff, honestly, we could probably just sell mostly for the perspective that it's going to be hard to pick up uh, the Mosins to be able to throw these on. I don't think uh, there is a trade for the sniper version. It's just a ton of batteries. This is just like, I get why this is what it is, because this is a good sniper rifle, but I wish these were kind of like cut in half. I wish this was like two or three and this was like four. I think it would make it a lot more reasonable for us to try to find. Um, so I think we wrap up there. Good episode, got some progress done, got a couple of quests knocked out. Uh, we did end up getting heating level two installed as well with that um, those hunter matches, which is really good. So I'm, I'm very happy that I ended up picking those up. 
Um, so it is on its way to installing. We got a little bit of time left on that. And then water collector here, we're just waiting on a couple. We need a couple more of the white tapes. So I do think, again, I do think we'll keep kind of probably rolling back through into uh, woods. I may just go like a pistol run and a backpack here um, just to see if we can actually get some of our PMC kills with a pistol. Um, I would like to try to get stirrup done. That would be a really nice one to get complete. It gives some pretty solid things. Um, and uh, it's just a good quest for us to try to get done as early as we can. Although we're going to be coming up against a lot of geared players. I think those two guys that ended up pushing over to get that fight um, were probably very, very geared. Although we never even saw them. Um, so, yeah, good episode. I'm just going to say... Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate all the support on YouTube. Thank you so very much. Series continues to do well. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And we had some good raids. We got some PvP here uh, and had some good action as well as uh, picking up some things we need and getting some progress on some quests. So I would say all in all, that was solid. We'll start going into a little bit more geared runs too here. Um, I think here in the very, very near future, especially as we get into customs. I guess that's kind of the other mentality Um that I'm thinking about is I want to save some of these armors, some of these armored rigs here specifically, some of our decent guns for when we start pushing into customs and trying to get a bunch done. We're going to need to come in. They are pretty geared, so that's going to be a good thing for us to, to kind of focus on. So um, bear with me on these lower gear runs, although this whole, a whole hardcore is all about zero to hero. Um, bear with me on those, and I think that's what we're going to try to do to, to hang on because we've got some decent guns. Got some decent guns, got some decent ammo. Uh, and like I said, you can see we have quite a few armor rigs that we can put to use here uh, and uh, have hopefully have some success with. So really quickly also throw some socials out of Twitch, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, links in the description. Come follow us. We stream in the evenings, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and then during the week when we can in the evenings EST. We'd love to see you, chat with you, hang out, run some raids, mostly doing our main account as we grind towards Kappa. So come over, swing by, and uh, we might start recording and uh, doing some uh, some streams of hardcore as well as we get a little bit closer to Kappa. So if you're interested in that, swing on by. I've been Doc. We're the Average Gamer Guys. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next hardcore episode. Peace. <laughs>